So now let us bring a shape from Photoshop into After Effects and turn it into a 3D object by using Element 3D plugin. So I'm going to go into my Photoshop right here for that. I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to select the video file right here. So I'm going to select uh, film and video and I'm going to select 720p because that's the format that I'm working with. So I'm going to create that out and here I have a blank canvas and I'm going to use a shape uh, right here. So I'm going to go on to my custom shape tool and choose a shape of my choice. So let's say I want to go with something interesting like this airplane right here. And I'm going to click and drag this by holding shift so proportion is maintained. All right, I'm going to move it around the center. Okay, so that it's easier for me to edit in After Effects. I'm going to save this. I'm going to save as and over here onto my tutorial folder, I'm going to say airplane. All right, there you go. So I got my airplane right there and save it up. Press OK. But whenever you save a, a save a shape, you should make sure that it is a shape layer or a path layer because pixels uh, don't really work when extruding 3D objects. So I saved it as a shape layer. So I'm going to go back on to my After Effects, import the file right here. So I'm going to double click this. I'm going to import this airplane right here. It's like this. So I got my um, importing options and you can see that I'm going to import it as a composition and I'm going to retain the layer sizes. I'm going to keep the editable layer styles on because that is what I require to, ex um, to uh, extrude the 3D object. So I'm going to press OK and here I have my composition ready because that's the composition I selected in Photoshop itself. So I'm going to drag my element plugin onto the background because you can simply use element plugin in any of the layers you want. And I'm going to go on to my custom layer right here and then custom text and path on the path layer one, I'm going to select the shape one. That's the airplane shape right there. I'm then going to go on to my scene setup and press extrude. So there you go. There's the airplane shape as you can see right there. I can increase the bubble scale. I'm going to go into the preset, add in some chrome material to it for some fantastic look right there, right then and there, just like that. So I'm going to press OK and the shape appears. I'm going to disable the shape uh, right here. I'm going to hide the shape right there. And on over here, I'm going to rotate the object by using the particle uh, replicator option. So I can rotate the shape as you can see, and it's a complete 3D object, which I made in uh, Photoshop. So that is one way of importing the object. The other way is to create a new composition right here and make the composition itself. So now here, in this case, I'm just going to import the, uh, the path. And for that, I can go for new solid layer, press OK. I'm going to create another solid layer again where my shape stays. So on the first one, the element 3D plugin stays up. So on here, I just want to copy the path. So I'm going to go back here. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a path. So I'm just going to go over to custom object itself. I'm going to select any of the shape I want. And now instead of shape, I'm going to select path. So if you want to copy the path, um, you should select path. So I'm just going to press shift, uh, shift and expand. You can see that this is the path. I'm going to press control C to copy this path out. I'm going to go back onto my After Effects layer and on the solid layer, I'm going to press control V and that path is there as you can see right there. This is another way to import um, uh, shapes from Photoshop into After Effects and turn it into 3D. So I'm going to go over here onto my custom layer. I'm going to go into custom text and mask. I'm going to select dark gray solid 2. Go to scene setup and then I can simply extrude this out. And you can see that this is the extruded shape right there. So I can increase the bubble shape right here. I can increase the path, decrease the path and so forth. I'm going to go into preset. I'm going to add in some material right there, like the grass. That's too busy right there. All right, there you go. That's the shape. Press OK and that's the shape. I'm going to disable the shape in the backward. That's the shape as you can see. So that is how you can bring shapes from Photoshop into After Effects, the two ways to import 
um, shapes in After Effects and turn it in 3D. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.